One of the major keys to being a better golfer is understanding how to hit your start line. Once a player starts developing and becoming a better player, you'll notice that their curvature starts to shrink in and just falls off a little bit. But we can have major issues with our game if we can't get the ball started on the line that we're looking for. There are a lot of variations that we can make with our body and with our ball position in order to get the ball started on that line and get the curvature down. So this week, we are going to figure out why you, the player, are missing your start lines every time. The average golfer would play more consistent if they accepted that that curve that they have is what is the key element to their game. Now, they're gonna improve if they can tighten that curvature up. But once it's tightened up, we now need to understand how to get that golf ball started on a consistent start direction. The major elements that are gonna come into play when it comes to start direction is understanding where in the arc the golf ball is struck at. Remember in the downswing that club is working more out and then in the upswing it's working more in. Taking that into account will help us set everything up to be more neutral through impact. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a huge favor. Hit the like button, leave a comment about issues that you have in your golf game and definitely subscribe. Every single one of you subscribing is helping us build this community into something awesome and I appreciate everyone's support. Another thing we have to understand is whether we naturally have a neutral path or whether we have one that's more in to out or out to in when it comes to our curvature. That's gonna help us align our bodies for the proper start direction. So if I'm a player who has a neutral path and I get a face that's slightly shut, I'm going to want to feel from my draw as a right-handed golfer that I aim slightly to the right of my target, okay? That's gonna allow the golf ball to start just right and then curve back. Now, if I'm the player who's hitting a draw because I get under plane and work my path more out, then I'm gonna wanna set up more neutral. And if it's way under, I can even aim a little bit left, okay? Understanding what causes your path to get into out and what causes your draw or vice versa your fade or slice is absolutely critical to getting your start line under control. So one of the key ways to understand what's happening in your golf swing is to get access to a launch monitor. If you go in there and see your swing direction is pretty neutral and your path at impact is near zeroed out and you're hitting a little fall off draw, then you understand that you are the player that needs to adjust everything through changing their setup. If you get in there and you see that path is more in to out, then you know where your positioning is every time and what causes you to hit that draw. After you get in there and you see that you're the in to out player, from there you wanna see how far you're hitting in to out. If you're only two to four degrees and your face is just a little bit close to that, you're in a perfect position. If you see that you're about eight, 10 degrees out, now you need to go in there and figure out your problem. That's causing too much curvature to get you back to the target. We can either address that by aiming our body farther left or we could do drills in order to get that path closer to neutral. But what we're looking for is that nice two to one ratio with a path that's somewhere one to five degrees in that, in that area in order to be able to hit that nice consistent draw. Now, if you're a player who doesn't have access to a launch monitor, that's perfectly fine. We could set up an alignment station, we can do some blocking drills, and we can work through the process of elimination to figure out what is actually happening with your move. Once you get that understanding from that alignment station, then you can start making the proper fixes that you want in order to hit your start line. One other thing we have to understand when we're talking about start direction is understanding where our ball position is. Okay, We can affect start direction by moving the ball more up or back. If we think about it with a neutral arc swing, it's coming down in the downswing and working in to out. When it's working back up, it's moving more in. So if we're the player that's hitting a huge hook or a huge slice, we can change our ball position. That big draw can be changed and brought in to be more neutral by moving that ball position more forward in our stance. Vice versa, if you're hitting that big pull slice, you can move that ball position more back to change the start direction and also affect the amount of curvature that you see in your golf swing. So if we get in here and we understand that we have a neutral path with the face is just simply a little bit closed, we can start affecting how we aim to the golf ball. If we find out that our path is more in to out, then we just need to work on controlling our path to get ourselves in the position that we want to control our start line every time. 
If you watch our video this Tuesday, I have a firm feeling that if you do these drills consistently, you're gonna start shooting really good numbers and stop struggling to score on the golf course. Hope this video helped and I hope to see you Tuesday. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.